What's going on? It's your boy Bako. If this is your first time watching my video, thank you for clicking it. You know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, check it out. All right. So yeah, this is just a little uh, work day. That's how I work. That's why it's my job. Pretty much, I'm on the boat most of the time. So this right here is just me doing my boat checks. You know, making sure everything's operating. Make sure everything is flowing, you know. Um, yeah, the boat I'm on is it's a twin V, 36 feet. I have two Suzuki 350s on the back, look pretty good. Yeah, so I'm just checking, make sure everything's running and everything's just top, top shape right now, you know. So, yeah, just another beautiful day. Also, we're in the Bahamas, uh, Abaco, Guana Key. So, just a little bit of on the, what I do, like I said, on a daily basis. Check in the bilges, making sure it's dried. I have a lot of st crazy stories where the bilges were like failed on me and stuff like that, you know, but that's for another video. Yeah, just checking the GPS, some people call it the chart plotter, so making sure that's functioning pretty well, looks good, everything looks good, you can mark that off, yeah. And then, yeah, just take a quick look at the engine, you know, I check the engine oil, just check it to see if anything looks out of the ordinary, any wire, any oil leaks, if you smell any fuel, anything crazy, nothing too, too uh, technical, you know, just keep an eye on it. So they are now uh, hitting the water. Beautiful day. I forgot the, the wind speed. Um, yeah, so me and my homie Trico hit the waters, see what's going on. So yeah, like I said, my job is just pretty much hitting the waters every day. I usually take people out, like, uh, that's like my job. I take them out, do whatever they want, spare fishing, fishing, Island hopping, lunch, dinner, breakfast, yeah, whatever. So yeah, we hit our first spot. We're just checking the lobster traps. We're just killing some time. Nothing really to do, just trying to create some content. So yeah. And also this is beef, like right before like lobster season too. So yeah, we didn't just like checking them to see how they were some old traps we create we made some new ones as well too yeah they're pretty cool as well and so I guess if you ever decide to come to the Bahamas and you need a tour guide or something I don't know you can always hit me up and make something happen I'm most of the time not doing nothing so yeah so yeah we had our first spot we're on to our next spot right now as you look at the GPS I think that's uh, fish key yeah, that's in the Sea of Abaco. You go hit a lionfish, you know. Yeah, any, nothing safe under the water, just saying. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in real quick, see what's popping, see what's going on. I'm, uh, I usually, I'm trying to get better at my free diving, but We'll get that. This is about, I don't know, I would say eight, ten feet, something like that. So it takes a lot of practice and and stuff just to free dive, hold your breath, spare a lobster or even a fish. Like it takes a lot of practice. And some people are good at it and some people aren't. But with with time and work, you know, anything is possible, right? So yeah, this is how we check our lobster traps. We drag them, move them. If you see that, that's a puffer fish. 
I came back up to the surface because I was too tired, holding my breath. Yeah, that one. This trap didn't have any lobsters, really. Probably just one little lobster. Nothing. Nothing to even take back. Like, no. But yeah, this is what like what we pretty much do, and I have other, uh, other content and stuff like. If this is what you guys like to see and like to watch, I'm up. Post, post them, you know, we do a lot of other stuff like wake surfing, uh, kite surfing, like pretty much everything, you know, we all, we all good at something. So, yeah, and I have like a lot of spots where I usually go for fishing and stuff like that. If you guys don't know how to rig a rod, I'm probably going to post a video about rigging a fishing rod. Um, how to maneuver in certain weather, you know, just, it's a lot of content. So yeah, back on our way. So we're pretty much finished for, the, for that day. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go fuel up, make sure the boat is fueled up and everything. So tomorrow we can be on it again. And like I said, like every day is just something new, you know, every day. You know, and I'm driving this boat today. Tomorrow I might be driving another boat, you know. It just all depends. It all depends on the weather too. Like the weather plays a huge part in just boating and stuff like that. But yeah, so this is just my my work life, I guess my vlog. So if you guys want to see more, you make sure I subscribe and you like, okay?